What's going on guys? I am Pryoxis and I am back with another EA Sports UFC 4 tips, tricks, and tutorials video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to deal with the players that get you in the clinch and they either take you down or they go for the guillotine submission or the flying submissions. A lot of you guys don't understand how to deny both of them at the same time and I'm going to teach you in this video. And after you watch this video, I promise you're going to, I'm going to open your eyes to a whole new world. Now, let's get started. In order to deny a submission attempt against your opponent, you'll first need to hold the right trigger or r2 as they go for the submission you see here i'm going to set up the bot to actually try to submit me in the clinch it goes here now like i said you're going to be holding down right trigger and you'll deny those all submissions in the clinch no matter what submission it is you want to hold down right trigger or r2 in order to deny it as you see there i denied it now let's say they mix it up and instead of going for that submission they clinch you right and then they go for a takedown and a lot of times they'll ankle pick you or they'll do that there but again you have time to deny that watch this i'm going to be holding right trigger as you see on the screen on the controller and that'll be r2 on playstation and the second i see him going for that takedown i want to immediately hold the left trigger as well so we're holding both triggers again do not tap them you want to hold both triggers watch this second i see him going for the takedown boom see that now keep in mind if you are late on the denial it will turn into a drive and takedown i'll show you here I'm late on the denial, see it turn to a drive and takedown, and then he tried to turn, and I did not to turn as well. Also, guys, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, okay, well, I can just deny the takedowns, and then when he tries to go for a submission, I can switch it up and let go of the right trigger to try, to try to deny the submission. You cannot do that. If you're already holding down both triggers, you're saying, hey, I'm giving you the submission attempt for free. As you see here, I'm going to set up the bot, I'm going to have him here, I'm going to have him throw a knee, and immediately go for the submission. And as the defending guy, I'm Kamaru Usman. Watch what happens when I hold down both triggers and let go of the left trigger as he goes for that submission. See there? I do not defend it. I cannot defend the choke if he is already, if I'm already holding down both triggers. You need to be already holding down the right trigger and reacting to the takedowns. You cannot react to the guillotine choke. Now, keep in mind that he can throw knees to your body because you're holding right trigger and you're blocking your head. And those you will also have to react to. Now, I know you're probably wondering, why exactly did I switch fighters? It is because fighters like Donald Cerrone has the ability to immediately go into a clinch and go for a flying armbar. See that? Not every fighter has it, but the fighters that do, a lot of people will use them and utilize it. Now, in order to deny that, you want to deny that just like any other submission in the clinch by just holding right trigger. Now, here's the mix-up. Here's what they're going to get you with. They're going to clinch you, and then they're going to go for like an ankle pick or a takedown. See that? Now... Watch this. Same thing applies. He's going to clinch me and immediately go for the takedown. I'm going to be holding right trigger. Boom. See that? Now that turns into a driving takedown because I was a bit late on the denial. But again, you will be able to defend both of them. And that's the end of this tutorial. If it was helpful for you guys, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. And if you are a subscriber already, be sure to turn on those post notifications. I'm out. Peace.